So welcome back to another FIFA 21 video. Today we are doing another episode in the concept series. This is where I take a look at community created ideas and you know new features that they want to see in a FIFA game and I actually review them, compare them to what we've got already in career mode. So today's episode is going to be featuring Vijay's work who reached out to me and he said that I could use his stuff in today's video. So thank you for that. Now I'm also going to leave a link to his Twitter page in the description. You guys should go and follow it because he does make a lot of cool concepts for FIFA 21. Now if you want to know all the latest FIFA 21 news when it comes around this year, make sure you subscribe today. This is the best spot to get it. At the moment, we have 78.2% of you guys watching the videos but not subscribed, so make sure you change that. Join the other side today. If you're looking for a great gift idea, why not buy some Real Life Ultimate Team cards? Check out my link in the description and use my affiliate code VAPEX for 5% off. So first up, I want to talk about the career mode home screen. This is what your standard FIFA 20 career mode experience looks like before a match day. Now I'm comparing the match day screen because VJ actually has a concept about the match day screen, so that's what we're going to be comparing. So FIFA 20's experience, you've got your play match button, your sim match button, details about the match and uh, the club you're versing. You've got your notifications here like emails and player conversations. You've also got your table and your um, top scorers there. You've got your news tile that you can go in and check the news. And then you've got your useless training tile that is not clickable on match days because you can't actually go in and train players on the match day. So that is what your standard career mode experience looks like on a match day. It hasn't really changed over the years. So how does this become better? Well, let's take a look at this concept. So this is Vijay's first concept and it is for the career mode home tab. And he goes, the adaptive feed contents change according to the situation. So when there's a match day, you're gonna have a few different things on the home tab. If it's in the middle of the transfer season, the transfer hub will appear on the home section. And it's only gonna appear on the home section when you actually need to do transfers and stuff. And there's also Spotify integration at the bottom, which could be a good feature considering the EA Sports tracks haven't really done a good job over the last few years in my opinion. Well, the image that you saw on the tweet by VJ was of course his home screen concept for a match day experience. So it gets rid of all the unnecessary stuff right before you're about to play a match. And obviously the contents, like he said, would change if it wasn't a match day and you would have your training feature back and news section and all that kind of stuff. So let's take a look at what a match day experience could look like if it was an adaptive home screen. So on the left, you have your match day information. So you've got your time, the weather, and the match against uh, Man City there. It's a home game. Now underneath that, you've got your table. So if you want to check the table right before you go into the match, you can do that. Obviously, you can do that in FIFA 20 as well. But then there's a timeline there of the last five matches. And I believe that is for your club. So as you can see, the record was win-loss, win-win-win. And uh, you can see your next fixtures as well. We've got a home game against Salford, three days left, and then an away game against Wolves one week later. So that could be useful information. Now on the right, we've got social media. Now career mode, I don't think really incorporates social media well. The journey did have some sort of social media concept with Twitter, and that was pretty cool to read the tweets and stuff. So maybe they could focus on that in the future. But on the right in the concept, you could see that EA News, which is a verified account, says that Manchester United youth sensation Jesse Lingard is reportedly unsettled at the club. Now, obviously, uh, I wouldn't say he's a youth sensation anymore. He's, he's like 27 years old or something. But what I like as well is that the player conversation underneath the social media tile actually relates to the social media story. So underneath it says, one new message from Jesse Lingard. This is probably like player conversations. And it says, boss, I'm getting frustrated by my lack of play time. Please consider or I'd take my business elsewhere to get some minutes. So that's pretty cool, I, I do like that. And you can see the morale of the player as well, and you don't need to go into the player conversation tab to actually take a look. In FIFA 20 career mode, you get your notification, but there's only like four words in the sentence, so you actually have to click on it to see what the player is trying to say. And uh, this one just puts all the information in one tile, so you don't have to go and click here and click there. And right before match day, you can read what the player is complaining about, and you can obviously put Lingard in, in the team if you really wanted to, to bring his morale up, you know? So that's pretty useful stuff. And then underneath you have your Spotify as well. So if you wanna play with Spotify music, pump some tunes, you can do that as well with this concept. So next up, we move on to the Office tab in Karimo. This is your current experience in FIFA 20. You've got your notifications once again to check your player conversations and your emails. And this was obviously on the home central screen as well. We've got a finances tab, which basically goes into the finances. You can just quickly from here, check your transfer budget and your current profit or loss. And then you have your board expectations. Obviously, if you click on it, it opens up a whole new menu, but you can see your latest objectives and your approval rating as well. 
And then you've got your browse jobs, your national team stuff, and your job offers as well for the national team, so you can click on that. And then you've got my career, which takes you to your trophies and your season stats. Edit manager, which lets you, you know, customize your manager, change the suit and stuff. And then you've got your youth section where you can find new staff or talent for your youth squad and uh, the academy there as well. So now we're going to move on to Vijay's office tab concept and we'll see if anything is better. Now this is what it looks like. It looks to be a little bit different to what we've got already. But Vijay says the new features here are the office tab which splits into two sub tabs. There's a career sub tab and an office sub tab. This one is the office sub tab and you can trigger the career one by pressing the RT. Unfortunately, he didn't make a career concept for this one. So we've only got the office one to take a look at. But I presume the career section would summarize whatever the career one does already in FIFA 20 career mode. Where you can take a look at your trophies, your biggest wins, your defeats and season by season stats. So in this section, we have an inbox thing on the left, which is sort of like a notifications thing. And it looks to be like he's included a new sort of email thing where... A guy called Mark Hughes, which is probably like an assistant or something, sends in an email about maybe the opponent's playing record this season. It tells you the primary attack, the style, the formation, and the current form as well. So that could be a useful feature um, to know about your opponents a bit better, more in-depth stuff. And then you've got a range friendlies button as well, where you can create friendly matches or practice matches maybe. And there's a suggestion there, so testimonial for Schweinsteiger. And a testimonial is in pairs, it's when a player retires, you can have a match for them. And it's also done in the real world as well, so we don't really get that in FIFA, so a testimonial system could be pretty cool. And then we've got vision and expectations on the right, which is sort of like maybe board expectations. So you could see your current board score, and then you can see the style of play, youth investment, current objectives and stuff. You've got customize yourself and a photo of your current avatar underneath that. You can click on that to do your manager stuff. You can browse your jobs and then you have manage staff as well. And you can see the contracts expiring for your staff. And uh, there's an under 23s coach there and a goalkeeping coach. So those would be new features as well. And you can see the ratings of the coaches you've got at the moment. So maybe you can hire staff as well and uh, their contracts will expire. So that's pretty cool. Now Vijay has also made a totally new tab in career mode called the my club section there's two parts to this this is going to be the first part and we'll talk about the second part after this one and this apparently to him is an all new feature on career mode so let's take a look at the photo on the left we've got the kit section this is where you can take a look at your current kits home and away and alternate kits as well i'm not sure if there's like a kit creator i think there is and that's part two in this actually there is um, on the right there is a trophy section so you can see how many Trophies your club has won. You can see 33 La Ligas, Copa del Rey 19 and Champions League 13. Underneath that you've got the stadium. And I think this could be like a stadium creator option where you can upgrade the stadium or something. But you can see your current stadium, the Santiago Bernabeu. 81,000 capacity with a 93 score in the facilities department. Not sure what that means. And then we've got club chance, which is something that maybe you could create yourself. So you could type in the text and stuff. And the current club chant is Ramos killed a pigeon. Take what you want out of that. And then we've got the club crest there as well. Not sure if you can edit that. But obviously if EA created a create a club option, that could be pretty useful as well. And here is part two's image. Now this is the kit creator that I was talking about in part one. And uh, this is a very in-depth system which lets you basically create any kit you want. And uh, this is really, really nice if EA added in some sort of like create a club feature in crew mode where you can create your own club. But... If you could edit also real life teams, that could be useful. But of course, with licensing, that's a little bit harder to do as a feature unless it's PEZ. So on the right, you have the look of your kit and that would update in real time as you make changes to it. And uh, on the left, you have all the things that you need to do to edit it. So you've got your supplier, which is Adidas right there. You can change that to Nike and stuff. You've got a primary color and a secondary color. You can change a collar style and it has different types of collars, different types of sleeves as well. Kit supplier logo placement, you can change that if you want it on the center, the left or the right. Sponsor placement, you can change that as well. Kit supplier element, you can do a shoulder downward stripe, which is what you're seeing on your screen right there, the Adidas stripes. And then you've got the kit design, which is snow camo. And then you have a font style as well for the rear side of the shirt. He didn't make any concepts for the pants and the socks, but obviously it would follow the same sort of feature system. And then using the LB and RB, you can rotate your shirt to take a look at the back and front. So obviously a great feature if Creator Club was an option in the game, and obviously a great feature in general if you would be able to edit your kits. Uh, but like I said earlier, I'm not sure how that would work with current licensing in the game. Next up, we're gonna talk about finances in career mode. This is your current FIFA 20 experience. 
a tile. So let's <laughs> click on the tile and see what happens. You've got your profit, you've got your earnings, expenses. None of it is done well. I think there's a lot more potential here. But uh, EA has given you like a basic um, spreadsheet. I don't know what to call it, but it just gives you some stuff that you never really check. I don't really look at this sort of stuff because it just has no purpose, really. The only thing that sort of helps is the budget allocation. That's the only thing I would take a look at if I was to, you know, go into this finances tab. But how can we make this section better and more useful? Well, let's take a look at the concept here. Now, Vijay says he's recreated the finances section to be a whole new section in FIFA career mode, including sponsors, financial fair play directives, including transfer bans and competition bans, and brings back the revolutionary request funds option. So in this new finances section in the menus of career mode, you would have an overview, which would tell you your income and your expenses, your net value, your projection in five years as well. And then you've got some other little details there like merchandise and tickets and all that kind of stuff. So moving to the right, we've got sponsors and that probably lets you pick different sponsors. It's something that we don't have in career mode at the moment anymore. But at the moment, there is Nike and uh, the other two PSG sponsors there. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to work. But then you've got kit sales, advertising and sponsor confidence, which is rated at 91. So obviously, if your team does well and uh, you know, you're winning leagues and stuff, your sponsor confidence is going to be very high and you're going to have better sponsors, I guess. And then you've got the contract section where you can go in and manage your player contracts. And there's also directives there, which is like the fair play stuff. And it says you are awarded a two season transfer ban for spending over the threshold amount of your club earnings. So that could be pretty cool as well. You know, limiting people's spending based on fair play rules in real life. And then you've got a debts and loans section. I'm not sure what that really is, but then you have request funds as well, which is probably the feature that we had many, many years ago in a FIFA career mode, where you can just request more funds if you need it, and uh, sometimes you get rejected or accepted. And then finally, we have a little player career mode concept to take a look at, and Vijay says social media involves stories, adaptable menu shows only the content you need, and manager notes shown before match day. So let's take a look at his image here properly. You have your match day section. On the right, you have your avatar. And then sort of in the middle to the right, you have a social media section, which has followers on a fake Twitter account, I guess. And then underneath that, you have a EA News story, which has your face on there. And it says, will the guy be able to maintain his clean sheet record in the LA Derby? So they're going to be relevant social media posts in relation to your upcoming matches and stuff. And then you have the table there for the league next to it on the left. And then on the left again, which is the highlighted tile, you have manager notes. So you can read the notes before you go and play. And uh, some of those topics there say great reflexes, good command on one-on-ones, slow distribution, and weak in controlling set pieces. So that's just basically an adaptable home menu for player career mode. So all in all, I do enjoy these concepts that I see today. Let me know what you think about any of these concepts. I like how it sort of looks like the FIFA 20 current menus and stuff, but it looks much more cleaner better color schemes and then I like as well some of the features that have been added in it's going to be interesting to see FIFA 21 career mode on the next gen consoles but uh, until then if you need something else to watch make sure you check out this FIFA 20 video the things you may not know about the game hit the card in the middle it'll take you right there I'll see you next time